You big nonce! No good! Well, hello. It's Chainsaw here. And I'm about to start playing some Might and Magic 6 Mandate of Heaven. Now, this game is one of my favourites. However, I've never completed it. So, I thought I'd start playing it again. And what the heck I recorded, I thought. So what we'll do is we'll get on with this. I'm going to start a new game off. And we'll take it from there. Having cheated death during the night of shooting stars, you find yourself as far from your village of Sweetwater as old Falagar's magic could take you. Three years have passed while Falagar imparted what knowledge he could to train you in your chosen professions. But the time came at last when he could teach you no more, and you have ventured into the world to seek your fame and fortune. Now, a world away from your lost home, you have stumbled across evidence of a terrible conspiracy involving a new religious cult. Five letters from King Roland to his wife Catherine, and a letter from the King of the Devils to a wicked traitor named Solman, have turned up in an abandoned goblin camp. Your fate seems inextricably bound to these letters and that awful night, and your role in the events to come may be larger than anyone could imagine. The tools you have are but a small sum of gold, your wits, and a lot of potential. The roads ahead are infinite, and all the choices are yours to make. So choose wisely. Good luck. Good luck. So there we go. That's the story. I was very, very quiet during that. So you, know, you could grasp what was happening. So we're going to get on with this. I'm going to create a party. And here we'll go. So we're at the create party stage. You've got a selection of characters. Four. And each have different the uh, different classes. So you've got a knight, a cleric, a sorcerer, a paladin, an archer, and a druid. With the classes, a knight's obviously the warrior, you'll know all these, cleric, healer, and sorcerer, and um, fire magics and such, the arcane elements. Right, a paladin is basically a knight and a cleric. It's a hybrid of them two. The archer is a hybrid of the knight and the sorcerer, and the druid is a hybrid of cleric and sorcerer. So, so basically, what I tend to find is the knight, the cleric, and the sorcerer are main classes. So it's best to choose them. Now you don't have to. You can choose any characters you want. You can do any combinations and stuff. But um, I must say, it must must be the cleric and sorcerer. It's best to always have these two. These are the, I find these are the most important ones of the game and they can learn light and dark magic which is the most powerful magic in the game you've got skills available and each 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 character can have different skills and such and that, that's basics and this is all the stats obviously so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video I'm going to sort all my characters out and then we'll get on with it so see you in the more mint more mint as they say Well, welcome back. So I've picked my characters. Here we go. So I've picked the knight called Sir Eric Shun. I've got a paladin called Ruben Zikritz, obviously a German bloke. I've got a cleric called Katie Crucifix, and I've got a sorcerer called Magic Mike. And I've given them all stats from the 50 bonus points available. I've had, obviously added might and endurance to the knight, um, personality, some endurance, a bit of all sorts there going on um, for Ruben. I've got cleric. I put personality, which require the personality requires. It's for the magic, and um, personality it requires for the healing and stuff, the uh, mind. Um, that sort of magic, whereas the intellect's more the arcane sort of magic, which you need for the sorcerer. The sorcerer is doing a lot of, um, since I'm not going, a lot of people go for an archer, 
Um, however, they all can use the bow, so I, I don't really, I'd rather have a pound in just so I can heal and um, have an extra healer in the group. That's that's my preference, anyways. So the sorcerer really needs to concentrate on the spells mostly, to be honest. So I don't want to hit, give him any miscellaneous skills like the likes of identify item, repair item, um, the perception on the disarm trap. So I'm, I'm giving these to all these these ones instead. Um, so like you see, I've I've selected the the available skills. You can get new skills within the game, and you can, there's, a, like, there's a lot available to them. But we'll get into this anyways. So I press OK. Here we go. This is the main the main game here. You can look around like so. It's the old arrow keys. That's, and this is the, the interface. You've got your map at the top there. You've got your NPC players when you can get them they can do certain abilities and such for you um right so you've got your four characters at the bottom you've got your current quests one quest at the moment you've got your auto notes which is basically telling uh, just like kind of updates on all sorts what you've found in such and such um, your map, as you can see, we're in New Scopical, and um, that's where you start off. There's quite a few towns in this, I can't remember, about eight ish. Could be more actually, I can't really think about um, the calendar, the time, the day, blah blah blah. That's in game time in the year, and get obviously. Um, you've got cast spell, you've got rest. You've got a quick reference, just like basically an overview of your stats of each, each character, and then you've got like your reputation and fame, and you've got your game options. And I'm just going to save this now on the chainsaw. I will do right. So here we go. So we've got a knight, and what you got to do when you first start off, this this is the statistic screen of the knight. You've like you see, you've got your your all your stats there, and you've got your age level experience there, your attack damage and stuff there, and your resistance to whatever there, like resistance to magic, poison, cold, electricity, and fire. You've got your skills here. You've got your infantry, and what happens is you need to equip everything at the start because for some reason it doesn't equip all the stuff you start with. In way level as well. Well, I got him chain. Um, rings. Rings are useful. But they usually put have different abilities, but however these ones are they don't do absolutely anything to you, so it's worth time equipping them to be honest. Um, may as well just flog them at the start. So I'm just, I'm just going to equip everybody's um, the spells. All need equipment okay. as well. You need to learn them. Um, give her the mees. Okay. You can learn that spell. Yes. You need to learn okay. them spells. These are the portions. That's an ingredient. It worked. And you just make a portion like that. That gives them a blue portion, which gives them. His his energy back, his spell points, and his spell points is the blue bar. Knight doesn't have any spell points at all because he doesn't do magic. Therefore, he hasn't got a blue bar, bar at all there. And the green bar is your health. And the little green bit there, that's the detective's enemies nearby. You've got your wards there for each each chappy and chappess, I suppose there. So I picked a got a woman in the team as well, of course. So I wasn't sexist. Katie Crucifix, I'm sure she's gonna play a good member of the team. Right, so I'll show you the basics interface, you know, like you say, move around, you can talk to How are you? various villagers. Beg, fret, bribe. You can tell useful information if you threaten them and stuff. Um or beg or give them money or whatever. Right. The Lonely Knight. 
So we've got to go in here, we need to talk to this bloke. And this bloke, I've got to give a letter to. So I give him a letter and he gives us a grand. Which is not bad, to be honest, just for delivering a letter. Or the seal here, I suppose, to give you this money. Now go away before we've seen together. Someone will get suspicious. Um, if you go to quest, he gives you a quest. Could you do the temple of Bar a favor? It appears that Brethren left the old temple to the northwest of here in a little too much of a hurry. Blah 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 blah. Right, so he, he's basically gives us a quest, I'll look at that in a minute. Um, and the rest just out crap. You got the barkeeper. You can get you can fill your packs up, that's your food. You need that to rest with and gain your health again. Um, you can have a drink and get drunk if you fancy it. Or you can tip the barkeeper, but I'm doing that because he's a bit of a he's a bit of a ponce, I reckon. Um do, 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 that's just other random people who just just are there. Right, so I've got a new quest, so I'll have a look at the quest I got. Here we go. Bring Solomon's letter to Regent Wilbur Humphrey at Castle Iron Fist. So that's me, me and me in quest at the moment. Now this one's quite simple, and I'm gonna I'm about to do it as well because it's because it's an easy one to start off with, and you get some some cash. Okay. Um. Just kind of look around the films. I'm trying to. How are you? I need a, I need a membership. Thank you. To that, I try and get some more skills, of which are available to us. I might as well get that membership when I'm on as well. Hello. Expert bodybuilding just there. Hi. Expert meditation. Hello. There's a quest there for us. Um. Oh dear. Can you help me? My daughter, Angela, is missing. I think she may have wandered into the abandoned temple near town, and if she did, she could be in terrible danger. Who knows what kind of horrible things are lurking in the cursed place? Please help her. Bring her back to me. Okay. Um, and there's, another, there's a Guild of Self membership. Um, can I join that? 100 quid. Thank you. You may as well just um, get all the memberships. I oh, meant oh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll just there's no quest there. Our town is being plagued by giant spiders. I'm pretty sure that the spider queens were killed. The rest of the spiders would go away. Couldn't we? I'm offering reward for the person who killed the queen spider. Um, okay, I'll do that. No bother, mate. Along with new quests. That's just a shop for armor. And that's a shop for weapons. Ah, my foot's gone a bit crampy, big. It's, it's, it's went a bit. Ah, it's went a bit all wonky, squiff. And it's a bit numb as well. Ah, just wake the foot up. Wake the foot up. That's what you've got to do. You've got to wake it up. Need a ride? Ah, right. Two days to Castle Iron Fist. One more way. One more way. Right. So in. Castle Iron Fist now, where's the map? There's the map. Castle Iron Fist. Right, so this is a this is another town. Well this bit is a town anyways, and then you've got the castle at the top there. Right. Reason I came here for is because I need to go and see that at the king. Robert Humphrey. Which is a bit of a weird name. I'm sure I used to get picked on a school. But he got plenty of wedgies in his day. Where's in you bastard? Boss. Yes, sir. I'm important. Master Nikolai Iron Fist, ah. Prince and heir to the throne of Enroth. So the little kids that have one on the phone, actually, it's not. It's not. He's just his visor. Um, I don't even want to attack the kid because he's a bit of a, he's a bit of a nonce. <laughs> um, right, I'll show him the letter. Thank you so much for bringing me this letter. Wilbur begins reading the letter, skims it, 
I've been so worried, I see. This is not a good news. Oh no, traitors, traitors, and conspirators, sorry, everywhere. I must organize an expedition at once. Robert lowers his voice. I trust you will not speak to the prince about these letters. He was already depressed and unhappy as these pubes are starting to grow. No, cause to hear more bad news. And now I must see the organization of the expedition. Right, you won't, you won't see that, mate. Um, just give us some money. He has a bag as a reward. You've earned it, and my gratitude. I'm not bothered by your gratitude, mate. Now, if only I could find someone to finish looking for Lord Kilburn. Well, I've got out better to do. See, you wouldn't happen to be interested. I am. I am. Lord Kilburn disappeared near Blackshire. I kind of this quest I kind of do for ages, um, because Blackshire is absolutely solid. Uh, find what you can. Return to me with the information. Okay, I'll do that. Um, Crusaders. I'm for most pounding and such. This is for advancing your character. There's different advancements for each different type of character class. And um, this is a quest for one of them. But again, it's going to be a long time off before we have to advance the characters. Right. Let's go this way. I'm, um, I must say I'm using... How are you? Using the expertise identification, right? I'm using um, grey patch, um, grey faces patch. I think it is, anyways. Is um, it's an unofficial patch, but it it's good, and I would suggest you install it, as it fixes a lot of the problems, bugs and stuff, and it also adds other features. I'm in trouble here. There um, must be enemies nearby. I think they're over that direction. We we'll just ignore them though. Berserk as fury. Do You'll have to sign there? up first. I have to sign up first. I'm looking for. I'm looking. How are you? I also have a quest there. The dragoons that have been plaguing the roads around here recently stole a harp of mine from one of the cabins. I am not strong enough to get it back because I'm a proper woos. A woos. It's a bit like a wuss, but it's it's worse. It's a woos. <laughs> but I'm willing to pay someone. Capable to do it for me, blah blah blah. Find the hop and return it. Okay, we'll do that later again. But he's got the membership, Thank you. so we'll get the membership. Um, is it this building? I'm trying to look. Actually, no, it is that one. That's why I got like move up your way, you bloody woman. Ready right. to learn something new. I'm gonna teach them all ball skill. That will be useful. That will be useful. That will be useful. Um, I'm gonna get pretty all my way out here for the night as well. And that will be powder. useful. I want the chain eventually for her. That will be useful. To do that. And um, we'll get the that shield for the powder as well. And I don't need the other skills. Um, so what I need to do is equip the bow. Well, I, can't, well, I need to buy some bows, sorry, first. That's what I need to do. Um, Looking for a weapon? Yes. Here we go, bows. Bows. What are your best ones? Um, and as you can see, you've got your shoot, and then you've got your damage. And the damage is 5d2. Which, if you played over that. Dungeons and Dragons style games you you'll be familiar with. Uh, yeah, he hasn't got a great master stock here. So okay, so we we'll just buy we we'll just buy four of them. To be honest, because there's not much, they haven't got much of a choice. That um, the shops get random weapons in. So every time you go, they, get this, they can have different stock in. I think they replenish every day. Game time, as far as I know. Um, right, so what I'm doing is equipping all the bows for these. I could really do with getting them all some armor as well, because I, I didn't pick the armor at the start. 
So that's another thing I need to do before I start going fighting. You don't need to have arrows or anything on this. So that's okay. So you don't have to worry about stocking your, your arrows up. Um, He's got armor there. But I don't think they can. No. Uh, I haven't got the skill yet. He's got chain now though. So you can wear that if I can get some plate armor. No. Well, he hasn't got chain. I've heard it. Oh, I'll give him plate and that. So he's got chain now. Um, I need to get leather for the... Oh, just... No. Oh, wait, no. sorry. For I hide it off the screen or something there. Right. Them horseshoes I collected, they just give you extra skill points. But I'm going to hold on to them at the moment. Until I really need something. Right, that's a good ring, that. Intellect plus five, we can use that. Um, that's personality plus well actually some of these rings do do stuff that one doesn't know so that can be sold I suppose or enchanted later on um, I'll sort them all out in a minute anyways we're gonna go back oh shit I'm in a fight go on. I've went into turn based because I don't know how many there is at the moment that's neat And there's villagers around you. If you kill them, all shit happens. <laughs> Rubens he clits. He he just knocked them out there, so that's fine. I think there's just the two of them. I'll loot them. Eleven gold and three gold. I don't know why they. I think they must have just came over that hill because it is loads over there. But I'm not. I'm in danger again. I'm just gonna get the horseshoes in here. There we go. Right, I think there's a guy there. So yeah, you can move around in real time. You can shoot in real time, like so. Um, or you can press Enter and go to turn base. And turn base can be handy when you've got a lot on the screen where you're fighting with and stuff. Of the hard monsters, you can, it's best to use. Um, I'm just. But it's it's your preference, of course. So decide what you prefer. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to new score per bit of your. Oh, I'm not. There we go. Um, back to new score pull, and then I'm going to leave it here. So I'll see you in the next episode, and we'll get into something something dangerous, I suppose. <laughs> we'll get into some crap. Um next time so I'll see you then